Partner B, your friends have asked you a list of questions. I want you to process how you feel right now. Do you feel that the questions help you? Or do they feel that it's not very progressive, the questions? Just makes you feel a bit stuck. I want you to process how you feel. Does it make you feel happier? Or, you know, it doesn't make you feel go, you're going anywhere. I want you to process how you feel right now, alright? Just take a couple of moments to process how you feel. Internally, internally. Right now. Right now, okay? We are going to repeat the whole process again. Repeat the whole process. You will retain your roles. So if you're partner A, you will retain your role as an interviewer. And B, you will continue to talk. But the difference is, partner A right now will ask you a different set of questions. A totally different set of questions. And this set of questions is called set B, okay? Set B type of questions. It's the same. There are five questions in this new set. And number six is a statement they will, they will make at the end of the conversation. Okay, with the same context. Don't change the context. It's the same context, okay? As what you have said just now. Partner A, get ready to start the conversation in three, two, one, go. Okay, one more minute. Okay, if you have not finished, I want you to jump to number six, okay? Jump to number six, tell your friend number six, statement number six, if you have not finished. Okay, nice. So, time's up, okay? I'm going to ask partner B right now. I want you to process how you feel. Process how you feel right now after being asked a different set of questions. Okay, I want you to process how you feel. And I want you to talk to your friend right now, okay? How do you feel about set A and set B type of questions? Which do you think helps you move forward? Okay, and which one do you feel that is not very helpful for you? Set A or set B? And discuss with them what do you notice is different also regarding the type of questions. Ready? Go, discuss with your friend right now. Go.
Just one minute, okay, to do it. Okay, let's get it back. Get it back. I'm going to ask a question right now, okay? For only for people who, who are partner B. Only you can vote on this. How many of you feel that set A questions works better for you? Raise up your hands. Anybody? Okay, nobody. <laughs> okay. And how many of you say that set B questions work better for you? Raise up your hands. Okay, thank you very much. Wow, that's, that's a lot of people. And how many of you, no matter what I ask, will never raise our hands, right? Anybody? <laughs> okay, so we can see that almost everybody said set B. Okay, the question, the important question is what's the difference? What's the difference? Because if you can see the difference, then you start to be aware that there are certain... One feels good when they cannot do something, right? They feel very upset <laughs> when things didn't turn out well. But we like to ask questions like, how do you feel, you know, when the person is very unhappy and angry already? You ask them how you feel, what, well, they will start blasting out, you know? They will start blaming the colleague, they will start blaming the boss, they will start blaming the whole system of why things are unhappy. And the you know, interesting thing is we, we end off with a pep talk with our friends. We make statements like, hey, you know what, I tell you what, don't be lazy, okay, go and do something about it right now. And then you expect your friend to be motivated. Okay, because it's not very encouraging at all. So as all of you have voted in, for participants B, set A didn't help you very much. The question is, what's the difference with set B? Okay, what's the next set? Set B is different because you realize all the questions that we ask are all about results oriented. What do you want? Tell me what you want rather than what you don't want. You know, tell me more about what you want. Because a lot of people tend to be fixated with what they don't want, you know, they're unhappy with all these things that are down here. I'm not happy with this, I'm not happy with that. But when you ask them, what do you want? And that's, that's the start of moving them out of the unhappiness. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Okay, that's, very, that's why you're complaining, you're very upset. But when you have it, all the problems disappear. You, you start focusing on what you want. So that's why I always focus on what you want, not what you don't want. So after that, when I told him that, End of the day, what you're telling me about all the problems is you really want a high-performing team, correct? He looked at me and said, yeah, I really want a high-performing team. Then, then I asked him this question, so tell me what to you is a high-performing team? Tell me more about this high-performing team. And for the next half an hour, he started describing in detail what the team will be able to do, that they will not just work together, they will be able to hang out for drinks, you know, after, after work hours, because he's a British guy, you know, he like to drink. And they like to have time together, just talking about family and, and friendship, you know, and about work as well. Everything, you know, their whole lives are intertwined together. That was what he wanted. And for the next half an hour, all of a sudden, I see him smiling. He was very happy because he focused on what he wanted, not what he didn't want. So I want you to do something very important. Turn to your partner right now and tell them, okay? Always focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Ready? Go! according to the way like you work with a machine. You know, just do this and then this will happen. It's very different. People are complicated. So we focus on strengths, not on weaknesses. Second thing, okay? We focus on the desired future. What do you want? You must want something. Help, if I help you find out what you want, will that be something that you, you'll be happier with? Of course. The answer is always yes. I'll be happy if you, we can work on something that we want, not what we don't want. The next thing, we focus on simplicity. If the conversation is as simple as possible, we remove all the $5,000 words, but we make it very simple language because sim people understand simple things. You know, they, they get very turned off when it's too complicated. So even when I work with uh, senior management, you know, where we have uh, on a retreat, sometimes uh, the, the more senior they are, the bigger words they use, you know. Like overarching objective. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, tell, what, what does it mean in simple terms to, to the normal person? Okay, so we want it to be simple. People understand simplicity and they are willing to take simplicity. If it's too complicated, they tend to reject it fast. The next thing, we focus on steps to make things better. We look at small steps because there's momentum in small steps. The next one is we focus on repeating successful strategies. And this is important because a lot of times what we think is successful, we can just think about it one time and we forget about it the next time. Let me explain to you. Okay, um, there was this particular head of sales Okay, head of sales of our organization. They sell shoes, it's lady shoes. How many ladies here like to buy shoes? Huh? Only five, six. Huh? The rest are all lying, right? <laughs> 
Solutions focused concepts are very simple. They are really, really simple. Very easy to understand. The tough part is doing it. Because, you know, I said, most of us are wired, trained to look, and society has trained us to look for gaps, weaknesses, and improving them. But rather than always look at this from this perspective, we're always looking at strengths. What can be better? You know, how can you be better? And focus on what you want, not what you don't want. And this is a very powerful principle. So when you are in, in a department that is, has low morale, you know, with people who are quarreling, fighting internally, always ask, what do you really want? Okay, can we focus on what we want and can we, what, what do we need to do right now as a team to move N plus one towards that direction? And when you do this, you are very solutions focused. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your awesome time. Please give yourselves a big round.